Thank you for joining us on News Nation Rush Hour. I'm Natasha Zuvess in for Nicole Burley. Well, Russia says it is now open to discussing a possible prisoner swap that would bring Brittany Griner home just a day after sentencing the basketball star to nine years behind bars. There are growing rumors today that Griner could be freed in a prisoner swap along with another detained American, Paul Whelan. Russia is warning the U.S., though, against making negotiations a public display. Whelan, a former U.S. Marine, is serving a 16-year sentence in a Russian labor camp after being arrested in 2018. And joining us now is Paul Whelan's brother, David. David, your words have stuck with me from the last time we spoke. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me back. You know, David, um, are you any more hopeful today because of Russia's response? Uh, not really. Uh, I, we were cautiously optimistic when we heard Secretary Blinken make the announcement about the offer that had been made in June. Uh, today's announcement from Foreign Minister Lavrov and then responded to by Secretary Blinken, I think just really tells us that things will be moving forward and now we have to see how things play out. I mean, how seriously do you take this? Do you think this is a serious offer from Russia or are we still a far way off? Well, I think we're still probably months away, uh, but I think the U.S. has made a serious concession in uh, what has been reported in the media and hopefully the Russians will go for it. I think the Russian government always looks for parity, though, so... Uh, they are likely to ask for an additional prisoner if it's a prisoner swap so that it's two people for two people. Um, or they might actually uh, say, well, we'll only give up one American, so you'll have to choose. And so I think it's still, uh, it's still a long time before we know exactly what we have. And of course, that would be a nightmare scenario for your family. I know in the past um, there's been criticism that your brother perhaps has not been getting the spotlight uh, that he deserves as well in this conversation. Yeah, I think it's... it's uh, the media is almost a distortion of what's going on because I think the U.S. government is as engaged as it can be. The uh, Secretary of State, uh, State Department, National Security Advisor Sullivan, all of these people are very heavily involved and it takes time for them to uh, create things like the offer that was made in June or the executive uh, order that President Biden signed that uh, allows for uh, sanctions against uh, people who get involved in wrongful detentions. It warns Americans about nations that do these sorts of detentions. So that takes time and I think uh, it can sometimes get lost in the mix. I appreciate your level-headedness about that. You know, so far in this negotiation, there has been criticism that perhaps the administration has not been strong enough about this. Do you think that Russia has most of the leverage here in these conversations? Well, I think it's it's difficult. Uh, the Russian government doesn't value its people. I mean, they, they aren't essentially worth anything to them. So uh, everybody in Russia is disposable, and that isn't the American way. Uh, Americans care about other Americans generally, and... Uh, so it, it, it makes it difficult for the U.S. government. They have a limited number of concessions that they can give the Russians. Um, but America wants its people back, and I think that that, is, that gives a little, Russia a little bit of leverage. But uh, I don't think that the U.S. government would ever risk national security over it. Well, what do you make of Russia essentially telling Washington to keep the negotiations quiet, uh, to not make a, a public display, to only communicate through the proper channels? Uh, it seems totally in line with their cultural approach in the past. Uh, they have tended to not want to talk about anything in, in, in public, and uh, I think it's off-putting to them how uh, Secretary Blinken made the statement. Uh, I wouldn't ask Secretary Blinken to change anything, uh, but I think now we will probably see that, that both sides uh, try to approach it in a more quiet, behind-the-scenes manner. David, we certainly appreciate your time. Thank you so much for coming back, and thanks for helping us continue to spotlight this. Thanks, Natasha. I appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.